Hey, Trent. Good morning. Hi. Thanks for joining me. Happy to be here. Awesome. Let everyone know who you are. Trent Turner, branch manager with Family First Funding. We're a national lender, cover over 30 states. Um, I'm the branch manager here in Atlanta, uh, NMLS 207-8583. Awesome. I really appreciate you hopping on these um, calls with me, just trying to educate our you know, buyers on what's happening in the market this year. So this is very exciting for us. Um, let's talk about purchasing land. Yep. Land so, financing is, you know, something a little bit different from the regular, you know, purchase of a home. Tell us about the land financing. Yep. So the great thing about America, there's a whole lot of land out there. And when we when we talk about land, we talk about raw land, unimproved land. So typically no structures on the land. Um, but yes, we can finance land. Um, typically, we have a restriction of zero to 10 acres. Um, we can go higher, but it just depends on the characteristics of the land and the values. Um, the down payment can be anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of the land value because land is um, an interesting thing. It's really hard to get an appraisal on land um, when the land is not inside of subdivision and there are comparable lots to uh, compare the values to. But it's an awesome opportunity, and who who doesn't want to own a piece of America and a piece of this great American pie? There's a ton of land out there, especially in Georgia, even in the metro. Um, if you see a vacant piece of land for sale or not for sale, don't feel discouraged. We can certainly discuss how we can finance that for you, and you can become a landowner. So land is an interesting topic for me. Um, done a lot of research on it. So I got a I got a question for you. Did you know, and you can say yes or no, did you know that 80% of the US population lives in 3% of the land? That that available? sounds right. Yeah. So there's vast, vast tracts of land available. Yeah. There's so America has 2.4 billion acres. 2.4 billion acres. Wow. So yeah. have just under 300 million people so rough math we should everyone should have at least eight acres right on average well they should um so a, a majority of it um i want to say less than 40 percent is owned by the government and then about 16 percent is owned by private landowners there's like a top 12 that i'll get into one day soon of yeah. landowners and how how much they own of that 2.4 yep. billion um, and then, you know, the rest of us own about 3%. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. So there's a top 12 that owns several hundred million acres. And then there's us. <laughs> startling. That's startling. Yeah, um, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you shouldn't be discouraged about land. I think it's something most people understand better than they think they do. They walk yeah. on the day. Um, you know, they play on it. They do so many different things around land. You don't have to necessarily improve it and build something on it right away. You can speculate mm -hmm. land. You can hold it as a long-term play, as an asset. There's so many things you can do, but I'm happy to talk more about that. And I, I think, you know, as a community, we should all be focused on acquiring land and those type of um, alternative assets. Yes, and not on this call, but maybe another day if we could talk about um, how people can use land once they purchase it, um, you know, even, you know, leasing it out for Lease products out. and things like that. So, yeah. Sure. Um, there's so many different things you can do. Uh, event space. There's so many different things. Okay. Um, well, my last question about um, land purchases. Are there any type of uses that you guys do not um except when purchasing land. So whether they want to use it for agriculture, whether they want to use it for commercial development, those type of things, are there any kind of categories it, that you guys don't do? It really doesn't matter for us as long as the um, the land checks out in terms of title and it's free and clear. What you choose to do with it after you purchase it is totally up to you. Um, there, You're right, we can go into a whole nother call talking about land and some of the things to look for, including zoning and what the future land use is. 
happy to have a call about that with uh, my development background. But, you know, you can certainly talk about that more. But and for us, there are no restrictions. Awesome. So if people want to um, speak with you about potential land purchases, how can they reach you? You can reach me at 601-291-3135. It's my direct number. My Instagram and social, Banking on Real Estate, as well as our website, fam1fund.com. That's F-A-M, the number one, F-U-N-D.com. Awesome. Thanks, Trent. Of course. Um, 2023, I'll be talking to lenders, some of my vendor partners, um, just to give you a better idea of how the process works. So um, buying a home, selling a home. Um, I think education is very important at this time. Uh, to keep buyers and sellers informed about what's happening in the market. So look out for those videos. Thanks.